Awesome. Oh, great. <laughs> Brian got a hold of the flip. Roll that work. out on a minute. It's, it's going to be all over the internet. London. There's Amy and Carolyn. Shepherd's Bush Empire. Pretty cool. This is my dressing room in London. Me filming me. Computer. Ubiquitous suitcase, computer bag, place to sit, vanity mirror, and cool pictures on the wall. This place is a, a storied venue. There's David Bowie. I'm not gonna name you all the artists, but it's pretty cool. And there's the teapot boiling with the throat coat because I woke up with a cold in London. Bummer. Okay, that's the uh, inside. Let's go see what Amy's doing. She's down the hall. It's just me. Just checking out our environs. Oh, hey. There's Amy. Looking up the internet. And Amy's got a tea kettle as well. Very, very important. Ooh, she's got a flat screen TV. I don't, and it's football, it's you football Sunday. Football on and I'll switch the channel. I don't think, I think the game is later. Uh, New England is playing today in London, but I have work to do. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. These signs are uh, actually really helpful for me. Because as you all know by now, I have no sense of direction. Hello. That's Brian. He has an English accent now. We only have a few help days. Help it. We've been here for so long. I can't speak regular English anymore. Is there anything you'd like to ask us from a play, like Oliver or something like that? Please, ma'am. Can I have some more? <laughs> this is a. This tunes. must be Guy. Hello there. Hi, Guy. How are you? Guys, How are you? guys, come to tech with us. Hey, to speak with you. Sully's world being shared by Guy. And many others. <laughs> Are you nervous? No, and many others. Oh, <laughs> he's not nervous. He told me. Not nervous. Piece of cake. The riffraff is here. Who? The riffraff. She's one to no one. House okay. reprobate. Come on already. Hi, Kaz. What are you doing? Are you videoing this? Yes. <laughs> Stop it. Just put it away. All right, we're we're in the production office, and Carolyn, for per diems, gave us um, Scottish money. <laughs> I don't know why. Why'd you give us Scottish money? Because it works in London and in the UK. But people look at it funny. I, I went to the Starbucks the other day, and they looked at it a long time, and the guy had to ask his boss if they accepted it. <laughs> so it's pain in the. Can't swear on, on the Indigo Girls mm -hmm. site, can you? Never mind. Okay, hello, please introduce yourself to our fans. Hi, I'm Mark, I'm the uh, promoter for today of the show. And Mark is going to explain about um, the Scottish money. So, well, the Scottish money here is legal currency, but it's not legal tender. And so you can buy something with it, but you can't legally settle a debt with it. Um, so if you went into a shop, you could buy some food, but if you'd been to a restaurant, and you'd eaten the food, that then becomes a debt, and you technically aren't supposed to be able to settle it with a Scottish note. So, so you should pay before you eat. Yeah. <laughs> if your tour manager gives you Scottish money. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you very much for You're that welcome. lesson. <laughs> Carol's on stage. Sorry, man. Sitting What's that? In. Speak into the camera. Don't be shy. I'm very shy. She's very shy. Very shy. It's not fault that I'm 
Three heads to the hot sun and his poetry in motion. One could send you down the river. Three is a strange way to be delivered. But the train of fishermen comes up, it's his trip in the sand. He stood out of the sea, just exactly like me. Oh.